We want to get to the weather. Did you see the sunset tonight? It was just beautiful out there across the Northwest. Mike, we'd love this more of the same tomorrow, please. Funny you should mention that because I got a couple of really interesting views going on right now across the Seattle Metro right now. Clearly it is already dark out there. Look at that. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. That appears to be smoke. That is not anything meteorological. We'll have to give you an update on that. In the meantime, taking a look off towards the west. Wow, we what a gorgeous sunset it was tonight picture perfect postcard and take a look at this. The marine layer virtually non-existent at this point. We saw a lot of that cloud cover moving in in the early morning hours and very slow to clear. But then once it did, it gave way to a gorgeous day. Temperatures across the region today seasonal. Now remember the average for this time of year at SeaTac is about 77 degrees, so we fell slightly short of that. Renton beat it 79 there, 75 in Arlington today and out along the coast. Once we got those clouds to clear, it got close to 70 in Fork, 66 in Port Angeles, and it was warm off towards the east. In fact, Wenatchee and Ellensburg both taking a run at 90. Clouds linger overnight. We'll see some clearing and warming on Thursday, but the big story is this will be even drier and even warmer Friday through Sunday as a big ridge of high pressure fills in. I'll show you what it looks like in a moment and then you know what right on schedule on Monday we're going to cool it down and start all over again in fact there are some very slight shower chances on Monday and on Tuesday so we had some sky drama off towards the east once again today in Okanagan County and parts eastward there where we did see a lot of thunder and lightning and a good amount of rain as well we even caught some light showers right along the northeastern portion of the Kitsap Peninsula that has all wound down so take a look at this we've got low pressure here we've got low pressure here and what it's doing especially as this one is sinking southward is allowing the ridge of high pressure that's to our south to expand upward. You're seeing some red colors there, but the big question is, is are we going to inherit that heat that they're seeing down in the southwest? No, absolutely not. In fact, what will happen is this will retrograde. It'll move back towards Alaska and exert its influence back in our direction again on Monday and take temperatures down just as they're starting to get a little bit too warm. So here's how it plays out over the next few days. We'll warm it up into the upper 70s and lower 80s on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be very summery out there and then take a look at that. The result of that expansion of that trough will cool us down once again. Overnight tonight, we'll see the rest of those showers take off towards the north and east. We'll see some clouds that will glom onto the mountains. And then by the time we get into the afternoon, it's going to be beautiful out there. More storm potential virtually in the same place that we saw it today. And we'll see some more of those clouds form over the mountains. But otherwise, that ridge of high pressure fills in. It's going to be clear. It's going to be dry. It's going to be warm. Seven day forecast shows a little something for everybody. We'll warm it up through the weekend. And if it's too much for you, we'll tune it back down and start all over again on Monday.